Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys need to remove and replace high pressure fuel pump or the fuel pump uh, lifter, tap it guys, stay with us and we'll cover all that today on BMW 5 Series F10 guys. Quick introduction, every single car we get at the shop, including this BMW here, we make more than 200 videos. And we're even planning to make more than 300, 400 videos on that BMW, we will be taking it completely apart guys. Why? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can by teaching you guys how to fix your car for free. So all we need in return, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, if you guys uh, need to buy a replacement pump, any of the parts, tools that we use, anything like that, check out guys the link in the description of the video below. We try to share all that for your uh, convenience guys. So hopefully you will find the information helpful. Now, this is a 2013 BMW 528A that we'll work on. But the procedure guys will apply to multiple BMW guys models, multiple BMW engines. This is the, uh, this is guys right here, the fuel pump. That's what it looks like. Let me show you now where the tap it is. Okay, it's right here. And we'll show you guys how to do that. So let's start on it now. So as you can see, uh, the only thing missing right here now is the engine uh, air filter box assembly with the holes. Why? Because we'll be putting a new timing chain, guys. As you know, this is a very weak spot on that engine. And we'll have the whole video from start to finish how to remove and how to replace the timing chain. So now on the back side, guys, right here, okay. You need to disconnect these two hoses with a clip removal tool. Two of them are broken. The clips are broken right here. Somebody broke them in the past. Two are still good. Now, right here we have a vacuum, guys. Vacuum line. Okay. Let me show you. This vacuum line right here that you need to grab. Okay. Right here and slide out. Careful not to break it. Now, when you lift it up, you're going to have another vacuum line that you have to be extremely careful. Grab it gently up then slide out okay and right here this is the vacuum line that we need to disconnect guys okay underneath so push in here now okay push in here and disconnect you can see you have two spots only that you press in one on this side one on this so squish in pull it out now <coughs> you can see the cover you can simply pull it out on the back side these two teeth guys okay they go okay all the way right here when you install it it's important to get them in another thing guys on the front okay you have two bow two two bow clips one here one over there that attach guys okay to the front side of the engine over here okay and you have a third one okay right there which is actually located all the way to the engine computer so those are all the clips guys and that's how you remove it careful here with va vacuum lines later you have to connect everything otherwise your car will not perform right and you may get a uh, uh, code for a vacuum leak turbo problems because that's the turbo vacuum boost solenoid guys so now for the high pressure fuel pump guys okay you will see that the um, the engine cover is removed okay this is done right uh, another thing that you will notice guys okay that we have the intake hose and the air filter box out of the way this is because we'll be actually taking the whole engine apart to show you guys how to do a timing chain replacement because that thing failed on this engine only at 87,000 miles so check out the video if you need to uh, if you have that engine guys you must watch that video and see what to expect so uh, now you don't have to remove all that stuff just to remove the fuel pump uh, one thing I want to clarify guys okay uh, it's very dangerous removing that fuel pump. You can guys set yourself on fire, you can catch your car on fire, your shop on fire, uh, you can guys spray fuel in your eyes, your skin, your clothing, so wear eye protection, gloves, all that, have fire extinguisher on the place, disconnect the car battery when you mess with something like that before you start on it and have fire extinguisher on place and ex uh, do not work on a hot engine. Why? Simply guys because if you guys Okay, when you remove the fuel pump, you will leak fuel out. Exhaust is down there, it's going to leak down. What's going to happen? Okay, hot f uh, fuel and hot exhaust, you catch on fire, guys. So have fire extinguisher on the, on the side. Now, this is, guys, the fuel pump right here. This is the high-pressure fuel pump. Uh, you can see we're going to go ahead and remove the foam. And now we need to disconnect, guys, the two lines that we have. Uh, this is the high-pressure fuel pump line that goes to the... Uh, to the fuel rail for the fuel injectors this is the feeding line from the fuel tank first let's disconnect the wiring harness press down on that middle part and pull it out perfect now we'll disconnect the fuel lines next okay that will be the next step 17 millimeter guys range now it's going to spray fuel be careful 
protect your eyes guys slowly remove it very slowly your leak view out okay ours will not why simply because we made another video how to remove and replace fuel rail pressure sensor so the fuel pressure leaked out but we still might have some in the other line we'll see so you have to be extremely extremely careful guys how you do that stuff because you may not have a second chance perfect this one is out as well okay this line is loose you can see we did leak some fuel so not terribly bad but some is still leaking out uh, we need to get a torx 30 star looking bit guys okay this is the uh this is the torx set okay we'll have the link in the description of the video below you can see where you can get all the tools and parts from that's what it looks like this is torx yep so we'll remove the two okay the two bolts now now go one at a time for a little bit then the, to the next one don't remove one all at a sudden because this is a spring loaded it's on the exhaust camshaft and it has a tappet inside guys it has a spring so it can be it can be loaded you have to be careful because it may start popping up it really depends on what position it stopped on the camshaft guys this is important okay one is out now let's go to the second one now perfect this one is out too now we are going to grab it guys okay that plate shoot let's see if if we have anything else holding here So we'll get a small screwdriver guys, just pry a little bit, okay, see if it's going to come out. Careful not to break your valve cover, that's expensive, expensive material guys. Okay, we'll get the fuel lines out of the way. We have a gasket there. Okay, this is the fuel pump assembly, okay. And you can see where it goes down there guys. So, okay, the top it is right here, but that's okay that's the fuel tap it okay down there if you need to remove it but it's very very dirty guys here so we just need to clean it a little bit and i think we'll be able to pull it out so if you grab it with your finger okay clean all the oil all the carbon build up and all that stuff okay the tap it guys okay it's right here this is terrible okay you can see car has only eighty-seven thousand miles that's why you guys should change your oil more often than <coughs> i think 10 15 000 miles what people do on bmws so that's how you guys remove the fuel pump and the fuel pump uh, adjuster tap it right here guys okay that's how we do it if you need to buy a new one replacement one something like that guys uh, we're going to have uh, the link in the description of the video below guys so you can see where you can get it from hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you considering uh, that repair guys thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time